Hello and welcome back. We're going to start writing the CDR, the very first part of it, the introduction in this video. Referring to booklet that we learn and we work together with, we want to make sure that we have it just handy and we're going to read through the requirements and use them there. Especially it's for uh, beginners or the first, uh, first time writers that you want to make sure to read every item. All right, the first item is the chronological dates of the carry episode, and then geographical location, name of organization, and title occupied by you. Okay, so I have prepared a template uh, carrier episode that just basically has sections of introduction, background, personal act workplace activity, and summary, the four, four parts that we're going to we're going to use. Okay, in the first section, and the, the, the things that I provide here, or I write here, they're only samples, and you can pretty much write everything you want, it's just to show you that what would be the form and the content of one introduction sample. So I would start like, in my first career episode, I would like to demonstrate my knowledge and engineering skills in in a design and sizing of one control valve on a feed line. I was involved in this project as control and instrumentation engineer and I started working on the project from, let's say, January 20th, 2012 to September 20th, or let's say, 8th, 2013. That was a, an example project. And then the project was located in Shiraz City, Iran, in Shiraz Petrochemical Facility. Okay, so that's an example, and it's not perfect, but it just contains every part that we discussed about, and uh, the items that you see is that this is the title of the project that we talked and the project as control and instrumentation engineer that was the role and this is the date that we talked about and that was the project uh, location geographical location similarly you can put information in this format the website um the address of the facility that's depending on how you want it presented you can do that so in the next one and the and and the words are also important. So that's like hundred and fifty. That's uh, sixty six words. These this is sixty six words. We wanted to make sure that we stay under one hundred. So in in another example, what I wanted to do is to write another introduction for an educational project. So this one was for a work related. Now I'm I'm going to write another one for for education I want so you can compare them together. I would start like in my first career episode, explain my knowledge and skill as a senior student in Shira's University when I was working on final year project of my control theory class. In this project, I was responsible to design and simulate a MPNID PID controller to 
control the liquid level in a tank. That's a very typical project um, for control engineers. And then we would say that I started working on this project in my fourth year or my senior year, senior year in say July 3rd, 2015 to August 6th, 2015. All right, that's an example. So just you can pick up the dates however you want. And uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much uh, another example of introduction for a student. So these two, you will have a better understanding of how to present it, and uh, you can definitely change the wording and the format how you want to present it. But you want to make sure that these items are included. Thank you very much, and I see you in the next video.